Hi, this is Sam at WatchMojo.com. Checking out the new Yamaha bikes here. It's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to see their new cruisers and the new sports bikes. Check out what's new this season. All right, well, what bike are we looking at here today? It's the new uh, 2009. We're talking about a V4 1700cc R1 technology sport bike. It's an unbelievable machine. It has an acceleration that is what everybody wants in reality. Uh, we're talking very close to 200 horsepower this year. And I noticed this something looks like air intakes in the front here. Air intakes that were taken off the F18. It's all functional. It's really unbelievable. We're talking about a big V4 engine. If you take a look at the wheels and the exhaust system on it, it's uh, really something else. So I noticed we're looking at another leisure bike. It's the new uh, Chopper style Raider 1900cc. We're talking about a V-twin raked out frame. Unbelievable handling machine for a Chopper model. Street legal. It produces over 123 foot-pounds of torque at only 2,500 RPM. So there's a lot of chrome on this. Is that a new feature that uh, Yamaha is adding to their bikes now? Yeah, what they're doing in the uh, Raider series is they, they have two models. They have the base model, then they have the uh, Raider S fully chromed out. This is the Raider S. Everything's chromed out here. If you look at the mufflers, slash cut on it. So how fast does this accelerate to like say 100? It's, uh, <laughs> let's say it stays in the legal limits. Okay. <laughs> so what are we looking at? The new R1, the main feature is that the only thing about that did not change on the R1 is the amount of CCs. And R1 has 998 CCs. That's about it. Everything has been changed. Frame, style, power, torque, exhaust system. It's a brand new bike. But the main feature on this bike this year is the new cross-plane crankshaft. The older R1s had a lot of power, but only at high RPM. We were missing a bit on low and medium range. Now with the new cross-plane crankshaft, we're getting mid-range, we're getting short-range, and we're getting top-end. So now we should have a bike that's going to be extremely competitive. So it's even faster than it was Absolutely, uh, especially on acceleration. Okay.